Christo, welcome back to the Cymru Nerd Cave. Hope you're all doing well. Um, yes, as you've seen the title, I'm sure, or it's down there these days, isn't it? I remember years ago, it would have been up there, the title, and you would have to put things in, in screen and all kinds. None of that now, just under the title, and they'd put, they, well, they've got rid of dislikes, haven't they? But uh, there we go. We all know why. NFTs. But uh, in any case, um, <laughs> that's all my... That's all my videos taken down by YouTube. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, as you can see from the title down below, after all my waffle, it's uh, it's more Beast Wars stuff because I seem to be into Beast Wars right now. I've been watching it on YouTube again. Somebody's um, put loads of the, uh, Beast Wars episodes on YouTube and I've been watching them all um, and it's, it's fantastic. It's really nice to go back and visit a series that I, I really, really loved and, and it took so long to see properly when you're in the UK. Um, it took the internet, it took the internet to bring uh, Beast Wars to the fore uh, in the UK because Mr Motivator, I love you mate, but you won't cut it, you were not cutting it at all whatsoever. Anyway, back on track. Um, Hasbro, I've been uh, doing some awesome stuff with Kingdom and we've had a look at all that stuff and it's great and we'll look at it in more depth at uh, another time, I am certain. But in the meantime, they've also been doing the vintage stuff, the uh, legacy or whatever they want to call it these days. Uh, we've had a look at the Megatron before, but I've been buying some more stuff and no, it isn't primal, it's, uh, it's different stuff. So let's, let's have a quick look. So, I bought Tigertron. And, and look at the packaging, look at that. I do have a blog about Beast Wars packaging and Beast Wars characters, and I, I swear I will go back to it. But uh, there's something about this Beast Wars packaging that's so, so cool. It's the eye, it's the, the eye, the, the lizard skin, the, the weird, quite frankly, strange uh, box art that you get on these things. And the green, the red, and it all goes together so nicely. And uh, all the instructions are on the back. Like they were back in the day and you get to clip and keep the tech spec which i might very well do in fact um yeah just looking so cool you even get the little kenner symbol at the bottom there which is so nice excuse me and uh yeah. you also get the kenner symbol at the bottom and it's yeah the the figure within obviously is very cool we shall have a look at him in a second but it even shows the different stages of Tigertron, including his mutant head, I think. And you can buy the mutant Tigertron on Hasbro Pulse. That's where all this is from, Hasbro Pulse UK. Um, or my dealer, as I like to call it. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so nice, so cool. Shows you all the different stages of everything. And does it have robot points? They used to have robot points, but no. It does say where the secret weapon resides, though. Which is very nice. That's Tigertron. Anyway, we'll have a look at him in a second. I did break and get Cheetor. I had Cheetor. Uh, he was one of the first Beast Wars toys I had. Him and Air Razor. And, um, oh, I forget. Bone Crusher. They are Bone Crusher the Bison one. But I did get uh, Cheetor from Argos back in the day. And, uh, yeah, oh, it's so nice to have Cheetor back. Really, really nice. Again, some really good box art on the front. I don't think that's the original box art he would have had. I think that's box art after the fact. I could be wrong. Uh, but again, stuff on the back. Really, really nice. Just looks good. Lovely stuff. Really, really enjoy the Beast Wars packaging. I might be keeping it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm certainly keeping some of it. But we shall see. And I also got Rat Trap because I've never had Rat Trap. He's one of my favourite characters in all of Transformers. Them, and I never owned an original Rat Trap. But he's really easy to transform because he's one of the one step changes. You basically flick his tail up and he just transforms. So he's really easy. I know that for a fact. Uh, and I've had quite a few sort of versions of, of this guy. Uh, Snarl was one of them, wasn't he? Um, and, and quite a few others. Um, really, really good though. I think even Insecticon, good old Insecticon here. Second time he's appeared on camera. 
I will do a, a full review of this guy because he's cool. But he's basically the Predacon version of that as well, one step changer. Um, very, very, very nice. And uh, yeah, Ratchet, I can't wait to open these. So let's do that. I shall be back in a couple of seconds to have a look at these when they are being freed from their plastic prisons. Bye for now. Welcome back. Um, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, so we we've had a bit of an open and we've had a bit of a play with the beast mode. So let's have a look at the beast modes. We'll start off with Rat Trap, who is unsurprisingly a rat. <laughs> he was in the show, uh, but in unlike the show, should I say, his teeth are really sharp. Um, he hasn't got. Yeah, well, you see the robot mode underneath, but uh, you know. Um, he's got really sharp teeth, but you know the detail on him is really really good and he is one of the small um, Selection the basic selection. I think they were called at the time um, They keep changing their names don't they they keep changing the names of their uh, of their classes But I think these are the basics. So there you go um, Really really nice look at him it, That's such a nice uh, little beast mode there Kenna were always really good with the beast modes uh, and the detail on them was always good. You can see all the little hairs on him um, and his little, little nose and his little feet which are articulated and they're not very much articulated but they are articulated, they can do things um, and also yeah very much like rat feet if anyone's ever owned or touched any rats that's what they're like um, so yeah really nice and about the same size as a normal rat as well I think not that much different. Um, people who own rats who I know might be able to tell me different. Yeah, done that before. Um, there we go. Uh, and then we'll come on to his uh, to his stable mate Cheetor. Obviously, in the show uh, is Cheetor. All these are in the show, to be fair. But he is in the show straight away. He's part of the uh, Exelon crew, um, the OG Exelon crew, who we see uh, very first episode. And yeah, it's it's Cheetor. It's it's a beast mode cheetah with the uh, nice blue bits on the back of his legs there. I do like that. The kind of hunched aesthetic of the cat that we have to incorporate robot mode and, and stuff. Uh, and he's got his gut gun at the bottom there as well and his tail gun on there. It's all very nice. It's all very aesthetically pleasing. I always like the colours of Cheetor. It's very nice, warm it, it's not sort of bright yellow, it's nice warm yellow uh, and it fits in really well with uh, the aesthetic of Beast Wars as, as, as of that time. Um, just really nice. Uh, massive squirt gun there. It kind of spoils the illusion but you know they're supposed to be robots in disguise aren't they? So there we are. And a nice face as well. If we can get that in. in uh, come on, focus. There we go. It's just nice. It's a nice Beast Mode, nice toy. Uh, I really like it. And uh, yeah, the repaint is nice as well of Tigertron. Um, very different aesthetic because obviously he is a snow tiger and he's teal, as you can tell. I saw a review the other day that was moaning about the teal on the back of the legs of uh, Kingdom uh, Tigertron's beast mode. But, you know, it's being accurate to the original toy. Um, he's got teal, um, teal eyes in this version, whereas in the Kingdom version, he's got sort of brownish eyes. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely tell these guys are repaints. And Hasbro and Ken are getting in the repaints very, very early. Uh, unlike with Kingdom, where they are different moulds, these are the same mould. But, you know, it works. I kind of like it. Um, I just bloody like Tigertron. I like it. The white and teal go together very nicely. The stripes on the tiger just fit into the aesthetic really nicely. It's just a nice toy. But uh, there we go. Um, let's get to some robot mode in. We should be back in a couple of seconds to show them off in robot mode. Bye for now. Welcome back. Um, yeah, they're <laughs> just as good as I remember them being back in the day. We'll start off with Rat Trap, who is, whoops, if I don't drop him, is a fantastic little figure and a pure example of why these basic assortment figures were so good. Uh, back in the, the mid 90s um, and you can see the personality of Rat Trap is it's there you know these are toys with a lot of personality they may be sort of small almost pocket money style toys 
but the, the actual personality of it is that I don't know if you'd be able to pick up his facial features, they're quite small. Um, I don't know if that's gone to focus or not, autofocus, there we go, you can see, I mean that's pretty much what they had in the show, you know? They used that model, they stuck very closely, he's got his little brain case and his red eyes and, and everything and uh, you can see his tiny little gun and his tiny little gun fits into the compartment, it splits in two, fits into a compartment there and a compartment there. He doesn't come with his demolition charges that he does in the show, but he doesn't need to. He's got everything he needs. Yes, he's a bit of a shell former, but it doesn't matter. He is just a nice, basic little assortment toy. I suppose you could put his feet down like that and can... Would you do that? I guess. Or you have him sort of boxing like that, almost. But yeah, he's a fantastic little toy with a lot of personality. I really do like uh, the way Rat Trap has turned out. And it, it's a toy that sort of hasn't aged that badly in the last sort of 25 years. It's got a lot of articulation in there. It's all ball joints. So it just, it can be put in a lot of poses. And uh, yeah, love it. I love it. I think it's such a great little toy. Uh, moving on very quickly, because this isn't a review. It's just a show and tell. Uh, we've got Cheetor, in all his glory, and oh my word, how cool does he look. I bloody love it. Um, again, the blue goes so well with the, the warm yellow and the spots. It just looks great. He's got his little gut gun. You know, see all the guts in there. And that is a squirt gun as well. Whoa, that is a squirt gun. Oh, there we go. Uh, you You can suck up water with it and then spray it out. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but uh, you know, there you go. You are able to if you want to. And again, because he's ball jointed mainly, there's lots and lots of articulation uh, in this guy. He is very articulation heavy. Um, the other thing he's heavy with is a, a cheetah's head that I, I'd forgotten how much it sort of hangs off his body. It's almost kibble, but not quite. Um, his legs again, loads of articulation in there. It's got a swivel and it's got a knee joint and it's got ball joints there. It just does everything you're going to want it to do. It isn't a brick, you know. I, I sort of thought it might be a brick because uh, it's been a long time since I've handled any of these sort of Beast Wars toys, but no, absolutely brilliant. And the face again got lots of personality in there, even though the cheetah's head does tend to get in the way. There you go. You can just. There we go. And you can see, you know, it's it's definitely Cheetor. And also, he's got his mutant head, which is the head that is now being used with Shadow Panther. So, you know, they haven't forgotten this. That is a weird head, isn't it? They were supposed to have these mutant heads. It was going to be part of the storyline somehow. Uh, but I forget how that was going to be used. In fact, I think they forgot. It just wasn't used in the show at all. Um, but anyway, Cheetor looking fan, bloody tastic. Uh, and of course, is his mould mate here, Tigertron, looking just as good. And he said he'd flip his guns just to make it different. Uh, he is resplendent in white and teal. Look at him. Look at him shine. Look at him shine. Look at him shining. Uh, he just looks really, really good. Again, brilliant face on him. Not exactly the same one he had in the show, but you know. They have to make something a little bit different. And it's mainly teal mutant head. Just a fantastic looking toy. Yes, okay, the tiger head is a bit prominent. But you, know, you get around that. He's a 25-year-old toy. But again, same articulation as Cheetor. Just looking fantastic. So uh, let's have a side-by-side -side with these two. Just to see the changes. I mean, mainly aesthetic. Because the, the, the mould itself is exactly the same. But you've got two quite different looking toys there. I bloody love them. I think they're so good. They're so cool. And I want more Scorpinox out. And I kind of want Scorpinox. I never had Scorpinox. And I'd love them to bring more out of these if they can. Because they just look so good. And they look so good on my shelf. And it just makes me want to collect Beast Wars all over again. Because, you know, that's what I need is more toys. But uh, never mind. I'll find somewhere for them because they're so, so lovely. Um, but yeah, um, all I can say is I do recommend them. They are a bit pricey, but if you, you know, go to other places like Smith's, uh, they are on sale if you can find them. Um, but uh, yeah, I got mine from Hasbro Pulse. Don't regret it. They're really, really nice. Um, 
buy them. That's all I can say. Get them if you're any kind of fan of Beast Wars and also check it out on YouTube if you've not ever checked it out. Um, but that's it from me today. I should be back very, very soon with something else. Video games, probably. Uh, maybe some more Transformers. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. But until next time, please do take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.